We received our e-wheels back from the repair shop and we mounted them and now we are gonna close those holes I have glued the nuts into the plastic and now we are gonna apply some sealant the sealant has been applied all around this is the outer part we will leave this sealant to dry for an hour, maybe two, and then we will put this on. It will cover this hole from the outside, and we might have a little trouble getting it inside. We'll see how it goes. No biggie. So far I've been driving for a few months around without this and only a few little stones were found inside so this is not really necessary we already printed it we own it so why not use it can't hurt yeah well this turned out just fine except we need to cut the bolts so i'm just gonna mark the length that we need then we are gonna cut all the bolts For the sake of simplicity of mounting, the wire, extra wire, has been left intact, not shortened, because that simplifies the mounting, of course. And I've been driving like this for a few months, nothing really bad happened, so don't wake up the lion that sleeps. In other words, do not fix what ain't broken. We're just gonna thread it like this. And this is how I've been using it. And this is how we will keep
keep using it. Those of you following this series, uh, you remember probably this is the cover for the brakes, which we will try to mount now and see how it goes. This part and this part are a little bit outside of this line. So, how do we do that? I did some tests. Since there is nobody home to help me, I just uh, roped tight this our brick handle and it turned out that this piece comes out way too much for us to be able to use the cover so since we have been driving around for the past two months without this cover and also without those covers and we only picked up a two two small uh, stones uh, we will leave it like this maybe in a distant future we will cover it we'll see how it goes anyway for now this is it over and out Charger, the instructions for MPT 7210A say first attach the battery and then the solar panels. We have just successfully changed the chain and we need to clean this mess. We had a slight drawback. The service guy went to the local store and bought the wrong chain. So he had to improvise from his own stock. Nevertheless, I'm happy because the chain he bought looked, well, pretty thin to me. And this one looks much better. And I am happy. Too big the chain means the chain that wouldn't fit inside of the tubes guides. I have also asked him for the advice how to loop the chain and he said the best thing is to degrease it with a VD40 and then lube it thoroughly and then wipe it. We will skip the VD40 part, we will just lube it and wipe it. wiping is necessary because if it too much grease on it the dust will stick to the chain and grind the chain away we will just slightly or wipe it we also need to loosen the brakes a little bit because when turning the this wire gets tightened and it breaks a little bit so we will lose it just a little bit this is our reverse drive it's 
just a simple switch which changes the, the, the rotation direction of the E wheels and if this is in reverse and I pedal the meaning when I pedal we, we go forward but the pedal assist will engage power and the wheels will turn backwards and this is controversy we usually go back and forth when reversing and if I have anything but zero power assist when I pedal forward the motors will actually turn back rotate back so in this case I have to be careful and set power assist to zero mm -hmm.